Hi, so when we are making videos, we can add static text or we can add some motion tracking and it becomes that much more interesting. So motion tracking, put simply, is when you're telling the program to attach specific points to a part of a clip and then from there, you can in turn add text to it, you can add video to it, you can add pictures, you can add whatever you want. Okay, now it helps if you isolate a very, very small portion of your entire video and then make it into a very, very small clip. So here I just cut like a very small part from the timeline and I have this most amazing clip of me messing up for the thousand time yet again. You're going to right click that clip and then go to a place with After Effects composition. Now that in turn is going to open up After Effects. And then notice how in After Effects in this tracker portion here, it's all grayed out. Okay, so to fix that, all you have to do is double click on your footage down here and then that's going to bring it into the layer panel. If you're in the composition panel, it won't be able to track anything. So you have to make that footage into a layer. So now you see that it's a light blue green color. And then now all of these are no longer grayed out. Then you're gonna go to layer, new, null object. Click on your footage again. And now we're going to track motion over here. So you're going to expand out this box and expand out this smaller box. And you want this smaller box here to be on whatever point that you like. So we'll just choose my finger here. Now ideally, the more contrast between whatever you're tracking and like the rest of the footage, then the easier that After Effects will have to be able to recognize it. Because what you can do is just press Analyze Forward. But because there are so many other parts that are identical to the middle finger, for example, the other fingers that I have here, it's not going to recognize that right away. So watch, if I click it, well, it's not bad because it's not too much movement. So this one can definitely recognize it, but then it's going to lose track. So see? Now lose track right there. And so you want to step back to the point where it did lose track. And then from that point, you're going to manually input in all of those tracking points. So just go frame by frame. So we'll make that my endpoint. And then you just click on apply. This option pops up, press okay. And then now you can type in some text and then we'll drag it to where we want it to be. So we'll go towards the beginning of the footage here where it started. So now make sure the text is on the top layer and you're going to drag the pick whip onto null. So that means it's going to copy wherever that null is. And then if you press play to the, there. So now it copies the animation exactly to where we just tracked it step by step. So that is track motion. So you can obviously use this a lot more than just you know, sitting in a studio and like pointing your finger around, but that's definitely one application. If you have a clip where you're walking and you want to point out like the backpack you're wearing or something, you can always uh, do track motion for that as well. If you have any techniques that you'd like to see, leave them down in the comments below. Please consider subscribing if you aren't already. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.